Hi, it's July 27th, which is National Creme Brulee Day. Now, I'm a fan of the Creme Brulee because it is truly the manliest dessert in the history of humankind. And don't let the French name fool you. I mean, yeah, it's French, which, you know, any French dessert is basically, you know, born to take it out of the ass from Germany. But these are awesome because, first of all, they come in like these little ceramic stadiums, and they're perfect for reenacting the 1994 Super Bowl which was the San Diego Chargers versus the San Francisco 49ers. It's great. Now, this will be Pro Player Stadium, or Joe Robbie Stadium, as all true football fans know it to be. Um, Dan Marino was supposed to play like a home game there, and his girl didn't work out. And that pudding will represent the sort of the field of play. And this sugar will represent the defense of the San Diego Chargers, as manned by Hall of Famer Junior Seau. And this will represent this fire, the Steve Young, Ricky Waters, uh, Jerry Rice 49ers offense. And as you can say, right now they're just sort of sweating it out a little bit, you know, not that big a deal, and oh, <laughs> now it's starting to not work out so well. Why, uh, why do we have Stan Humphries as a quarterback? Why do we think we can do anything with Natron Means at running back? Why do we suck so bad? Junior Seau, save us, wait, run fire, run fire, it's not gonna work. Oh, God, oh, wait. Horrible, 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 and yeah. Most points ever scored by a winning team in the Super Bowl could be four. So, yeah, that, that didn't work out so well for anybody involved in that black, that black charry mess. Is, um, that's Bobby Ross's career. So thank you, Creme Brulee, for an important lesson in football history. Uh, uh, July 27th, Creme Brulee, Food Rants.